Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today I think we're getting out of the ice path. I think I think we're right on the cusp, right on the cusp of getting out of here. I really do. I, I think we're there. Never melt ice. Ooh, that's nifty. That's nifty indeed. And yeah, I think this is the way out right here. Methinks. Never mind. I lied. Not quite the way out, but we're getting close. We're getting close, guys. I don't know why I went there. I did not want to go there. I want to. I want to see up, what's up here. I want to see what's up with this Izzy and over. And oh, okay, nothing. Nothing, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, what's a swimmer? Pig mammoth. Mammoth pig. Anyway, um, yeah. So once we're done here, we are going to get started on. Oh, hello. Goodies. I don't know why. Oh, I got it. Right here. Bam. Look at that. Avalanche. There was a TM in here. Holy shit. I did not know that was in here. I swear to God, I did not see that when I was looking at the loot that was in here. Well, at least that's nifty. At least we got that. I'm okay with that. So now we're he. Ooh, this one. Ha. <laughs> this one. How in the hell did we. Oh, wait. Wait. Ah. Mm. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm smart. I can get this one too. I don't think this one's anything though. It's a big boulder. All right. Typhlosion. Typhlosion. Pele. No longer a Typhlosion Pokemon. It is now a Pele. Mirror to the end of time. It's just the way it is. And a gold bat. A fucking gold bat. God, I'm so tired of seeing these sorts of things. Really, I am. I really, really am. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here, go here, go there. Bam, bam. Iron. Wow, that was a lot of effort for something I can't use. Although, oh, wait a minute. No, mm, I'll shut up. I wanna put that on my Tyro. When I get it. When I get it. Oh my god. Go up the ladder, not around the ladder. Man. God damn. All right, you are protein. I don't really need protein, but well, we'll take it. And now is this the exit? Ooh, hello, kimono girl. All right, time to push her. Fancy meeting, yeah, frozen in the ice. Why are you wearing flip-flops out here? You crazy bitch. You crazy bitch. Why? Do we want to try and get that goodie or no? Um, my curiosity is getting the better of me. I can't, I can't not do it. I can't not do it. I don't want to do it, but I can't not do it. But I see the solution right here. But I can't quite get to it. God damn it. Um, how are we going to do this? 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 Uh, we need to end up at this guy. Let's see. Oh, I got it. I got it, I think. Nope, I lied. I don't have it. I ain't got it. I'm scared. Oh, okay. That's not what I thought you were. Holy shit. Jesus. All over the damn place here. Um, fuck it. We're just gonna save to hell with it. No, but it's so close. It's right there. I can't, I can't not get it. I can't. Does that ever happen to you? Or am I the only one who's like, there's a giddy there. I can't live it. I have to get it. I have to get it. Even though it's completely useless. Hmm. How do we get this? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? That, that's what it is. <laughs> there we go. Pee pee up. Wow, really not gonna use that ever. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do this the right way now. Bang, bang, boom. There we are. Um, there we are. We are done. We're now in Blackthorn City. Oh, do, are you? No, I'm the same. You don't want to fight, dude. I did do that like the, the first time. The first time I came through here, I thought that bitch wanted to fight my Pokemon. Were all beat up. I was like, oh god. So I made sure I skipped her so I didn't have to fight her and then I saw this dude down here and I walked by him and I was like, you didn't want to fight? 
Oh god, it's this guy. This creepy guy is just gonna follow you around and take pictures of you all the time. Do you have anything good for me? A rude voice is in my head. I'm listening. Oh my god, that's frightening. By the way, when I do play Omega Ruby, get used to me. I'm, I'm gonna seriously go through the game and try and talk to as many people as possible because that's how you figure out where all the freaking goodies are and shit. So, I know it's gonna be boring, but it's gonna be relaxing. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then we got, ooh, Dragon Team are off from Blackthorn City. Wait, are you not in here yet? Oh. Okay. Well, uh, then I guess, I guess, I guess Claire is something special and she doesn't want to be bothered. But, let's do this real quick, because uh, this is kind of a short episode, um, and I'm kind of just buying time right now. I'm going to go and train Hellas for a little bit, um, and, oh, do we have trainers out here? Yeah, well, I know we have trainers out here, but how far? Let's go into the grass and see if we can... See if we can just find something halfway decent to, to fight so we can get get Hellas up there a little better because I think she's a little behind and I want to say that it's gonna suck going forward um, because I think her, I think what's her name, has a bunch of, well not a bunch of, but some water type and like water and ice type so maybe I think she's at what a Kingdra or something like that or Citra or whatever the hell the third form of that is a dragon one. I think it's Kingdra. But anyway, he's she's got one of those and I'm pretty sure a dragon mare or something of some sort. There we go, there's a Graveler. See what I mean by like later in the game you fight these things, fight a lot of single stage Pokemon at this high level, which is really uh, kind of annoying. I really wish they would really I mean, it, unless it's like a late blooming Pokemon, for instance, um, Braviary, you know, or whatever the, um, the Vulture one is, I can't remember the name of that one, Vullaby or whatever the hell it is, yeah. I wish they would, it, I wish they would kind of scale the zones and stuff like that appropriately with the Pokemon so that, you know, if you see a level 23 in here and, you know, like a Rattata or whatever, what level does Rattata evolve at? Like, I want to say teens or something like that. Oh, that perfect example, Butterfree. You know, you see Caterpies and Metapods, you know, in areas where you find Pokemon that are up to level 7. Once you start getting into the level 13 Pokemon area, you know, out in the wild, I think you should appropriately see Butterfreeze. No longer level 13 Metapods or anything like that. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I know. I know in the show and stuff, they, they can kind of, they kind of push the, the, um, the bonds between a trainer and a Pokemon, that's why you see, you know, Pokemon that have fought with a trainer, you know, level up and evolve subsequently when they do, whereas ones in the wild don't have that bond or friendship or whatever, thus necessarily don't evolve. Which I kind of get that, that's cool, I like that, but for training purposes, if we're going to be out here training against level 20 Teddy Ursus, you know, or level 20 something Gravelers or Geodudes and stuff like that. It's It doesn't help, especially later in the game. Like I said, when we go through Johto Falls and Victory Road and shit, you'll see what I mean when, you know, when you're fighting stuff in there and, and the only thing that you have that gives you a good um, experience yield is a Dawn fan. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm okay with, but those are also uncommon or rare things to find in there. You don't find them in every fight. You see mostly Fampies and Geodudes and a handful of Grabblers and I think Golbats in Victory Road, if I remember right when I when I went in there and trained. I think. I think. Although that does sound like a pretty decent yield, but I, th I think they're all, I think the Don fans and the Golbats and Grabblers are all uncommons. Not, may not even be Grabblers in there. I don't even remember them. I know there were Gravelers in Gen 6 because they were a bitch and they would always explode. That was kind of annoying. But at least you didn't have to train very long to get things to where they needed to be in Gen 6. That was one thing that was kind of nice. But, you know, once again, like I said, if we're going to have to sit here and train and, and stuff like that, really wish they would put the appropriately you know, staged Pokemon in with you know where they should be should they have, have leveled up to 24. That's just my opinion. Yeah, that's just the way it is for me. Like, I mean, if you're on level 30 zone, it makes sense, or level 36, whatever it is for Blastoise. 
you know, it makes sense to say level 38 Blastoise is not level 38 Squirtles or level 38 War Turtles. That to me is kind of weird. It, it doesn't really. It, it makes just. It makes training just a bitch, really. Because you're not getting the XP yield that you should. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think if level 38 Blastoise in the wild would be absolutely terrifying. I mean, because. God. I mean, running into one of those, you just get your ass kicked half the time. In truth, but it is what it is. At least we got Hellas up here to level 34. That's not bad. Um, I may actually sit here and, and do a little bit more grinding and stuff like that, just uh, just to check, you know, make sure make sure we're of the appropriate level. I don't want to level too much, but you know, at least to the point where you know we're not we're not having to throw potions on Hellas to 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 keep ourselves alive. You know, constantly have to freaking potion stall or anything like that because that's no fun I don't, I don't think that's no fun for the player and I don't really think people like watching that but you know it is what it is but anyhow we'll do one more fight here and then and then we'll get out of here and now uh, like I said I'll take a look and make sure we're appropriately leveled before we go in there and not overly so I do feel kind of bad now that I keep thinking about like Jasmine because I was not really over leveled but it was way too easy once we got the appropriate move but you know that I, I don't know it at the same time it was easy and we didn't have to spend too much time you know beating ourselves up over it trying to get oh yeah there's this bridge couldn't remember if it was the other one because I think there's a trainer down there. I think I did that once there's like a trainer down here or something like that and ambushes you when you go across that bridge yeah, made that mistake and almost got my ass kicked. Because the trainers out here are like 30 something, I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot, if you haven't noticed. But anyhow, um. So yeah, next time when we come back, we will take care of Claire and all of her junk that's in there and get up to her, I think. Because I think we have a hand good chunk of trainers to get through and the puzzles are kind of annoying um, but once we're done with that then we'll beat her up and then after we do that we'll have to go obviously get the, the badge from her because she goes crying like a little bitch and I'll keep that all in one episode regardless of how long it takes to to beat her and and once we get that eighth and final gym then I will go well yeah I might actually record it I might actually go and it'll be a long long walk Again, much like when we got Lapras, but go and get our Tyrogue, our sixth and final member of the team. And then, after getting that, then I'll go in and train the shit out of him and bring him up to speed because we're going to need some extra coverage. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, if you've made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.